Hi, boys and girls. Let's have some fun and draw together. Maybe even your parents would like to join in today. Anyone in your household is really welcome. Today's project is recommended for third graders. I thought we would do a still life today. A still life means uh, something that's not moving. So we have something here on a table. I have a picture with some glasses, some cookies, and a little vase of flowers. In the background, we're inside, so I've made some wallpaper and a painting. And then here we have a picture that's showing outside. So that's our still life today. Boys and girls, all we'll need today is a piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. Afterwards, if you'd like to color it in with a marker or crayons or anything you have at home is fine. If you would like to just grab some objects and put them on a table and draw those today instead of following my still life, that's also okay. So see what you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and draw this and for those of you that want to follow along, let's begin. Let's start with our shapes. I'm going to use a marker so you can see better. Remember to hold on to your paper with one hand, draw with the other hand. The first shape is a circle. Anywhere on your paper, you can use a scrap piece of paper also. Next shape is a dot. It's a circle, but we color it all the way in, so we call it a dot. The next, do you remember the name of this line? Very good, boys and girls. Horizontal. Can we all say that together? Horizontal line. Next line. You remember that one? Vertical. Very good. Vertical line. Very good. We have one more line. Remember the name of that one? Diagonal. Very good, boys and girls. Let's say it together. Diagonal line. Okay. Then we have our half circles. A U. An upside down U. Looks like a rainbow a C and a backward C. All of these are half circles. So if we put them together, it would make a full circle. Then we have our angled lines, which are our V's. A regular V, an upside down V, which looks like an A without the crossbar, a sideways V, and another sideways V. Very good. Then we have a slightly curved line. Remember, it is not as, as curved as our upside down U or rainbow. It's not as straight as our straight line. That's why we call it a slightly curved line. Then we have our lazy S. Our lazy S laying down or horizontally, we call a hill and a valley. And then we've been doing spirals lately, which is just fun. So remember, you start in the middle. It looks like you're going to do a circle, but you go past that point and just keep going around. And remember, they make wonderful snails. That's why they're fun. All right, so those are our shapes. Remember, we're going to do them before every project because it just makes it easier for us to draw. I'm going to go ahead and use a marker so you can see it a little better. I am putting my paper horizontally. I would like to have more information on my table this way. I'm going to go ahead and start with my picture. Now remember, anything that you want to put on the table, you're going to want to put the items first and then put your table line in afterwards. So as I said, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to show you how to draw this one if you want. You can draw a different one if you'd like. I'm going to start right about here on my, on my uh, paper. I'm going to make almost an oval, but I'm not going to close it in, boys and girls. See that? So to make the spout, I'm going to touch the, the uh, start of this, the slightly curved line down. You decide how big or small you want that spout to be. I'm going to go to the top. And I'm going to close that in with a slightly curved line. And then there's my spout. I'm going to touch where the half circle ended. Like a slightly curved line that way. 
another slightly curved one this way. I'm going to close this end with a slightly curved line. And now I'm going to change directions as you see. This is now curves out. So here's my half circle. I'm going to go ahead and close that in. I need to give it a stand, right? See the blue stand right here? So right here I'm going to touch and make an angled line out. On the other side, touch and make an angled line out. I'm going to close that in with a slightly curved line because everything so far is round that I'm drawing. To make a handle, you can make any handle you want. I did a shape almost, um, it looks like a heart. So let's start it that way. I'm going to start right here. No, actually, I'm going to start up here. Excuse me, boys and girls. That wouldn't be a good place, right up here. So here we go with the heart, and I'm going to end right about here. So I'm going to start to make my heart shape. And end right there. Okay, boys and girls. Now we're just going to make a little half circle right there for the end of it. I'm going to make that thicker. So you can decide you can go out this way and make it thicker or come inside. I think I'm going to go outside today. No, I'm going to go inside. I changed my mind. Mm. I'm going to make it double. See how that made it thicker? And then I just have to make this one thicker. Okay? So we have our pitcher with our handle. Remember, we haven't drawn the, tr the table yet. We're going to put that in last. So if you like some glasses, I simply made a vertical line. Now, my glass is not square, so I made a slightly curved line for the bottom and another vertical line to go back up. To close it in, I'm going to put a half circle and then another half circle, like that football shape we practice. And then I did put another line here. That could be from, I could color that if that's my milk, or if my milk's up here and my glass is a different color. Now remember, the first glass, you're gonna see all two sides. The next glass, if it's behind it or next to it, you're only gonna see some of it. So I'm gonna start with my slightly curved line, which is my bottom and go up with my vertical line. You decide how tall your glass is gonna be. There's no right or wrong. And I'm gonna say it ends probably about right here, so I'm gonna continue that. And then there I'm gonna close that up with my slightly curved line and my other slightly curved line on top. And since I did that on the other glass, I'm gonna do the same thing. So you make as many or as few glasses as you'd like if you'd like to make sure you have enough glasses for your household, that's fine. I'll do one more since there's three of us here. I'm going to do another slightly curved line, a line up, another line up there because that would be behind it. Close it in, close it in with my slightly curved line, and there's my curve. So I'm going to continue constructing things on my table. Remember, if you wanted to pick things from your house to draw, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead with chocolate chip cookies. They're my favorite. I'm going to start with the top, boys and girls. Let's observe that the top cookie, you can see the entire cookie. Uh, the cookies underneath, you can only see some of them, right? So here's my first cookie. i make mine an oval. The next one, I'm going to start right here. The curve, go back here in a curve. Remember, I'm not going to see the whole cookie. Same thing on this side. Now remember, you make as many or as few cookies as you want. I'm going to make a lot. Okay, now mine are chocolate chips, so I'm going to go back and 
maybe you want to do this um, with a brown marker or crayon and not do it with your pencil or Sharpie. Okay, boys and girls, for the table around it, remember, we're not going to see the whole table. Excuse me. We're not going to see the whole plate. We're going to do the plate now. So I'm going to start right here. It's going to be a half circle. I'm going to go underneath. Stop. I'm going to go to the other side. Mine comes off my paper, which is okay, and then comes back down this way. I'm going to make it thicker, like I have a rimmed plate. A little bit right there. I put one more cookie in there since it's going off the page. I like that. Okay. I think I'm even going to put a cookie on my table that has a bite out of it. However you want to do that bite. Got some crumbs around it. Okay. Alright, so I think I have enough information on my table. Here I did put a potted flower. I don't really have room for it today, so I won't put that in. So I'm going to start with my table. I'm going to start, depends how tall you want the table. I think this today I'm just going to start it right here with the horizontal line. Remember, whatever object I now run into, I'm going to say excuse me and hop over. So excuse me, hop over, excuse me, hop over. It's hard for me to see if I'm doing a straight line in this angle. Oops. Okay, so there's my table. And now I get to start putting things in my house that's behind my table. So like I said, in this one, I did a window on the corner. So I think I'm going to do that again. I think this window is not going to be quite as big as that one. Okay. I think I'm going to give it four bars. Now remember, if you make the window pane like this, make sure one of them you hop over. Okay, the one that's in front, you see the whole thing, the one behind you're going to hop over. So now I have a window over here that I can start making a little landscape, whatever you've decided outside here. In this picture, I did wallpaper. I'm not sure I'm going to do wallpaper today, but I do like the painting. So I'm going to do a nice big painting. I'm going to start with a vertical line to a horizontal line. To another vertical line and back over with my horizontal line I'm making a big rectangle now to make it look realistic that it, there's a frame around the painting you would touch each corner and give me a di little diagonal line out I'm do it at each corner diagonal line there diagonal line there diagonal line there can you see that boys and girls now all I have to do is make and remember, sometimes it's easier to turn your paper upside down or sideways. This one's sideways. Now I can go back this way. Now I'm going to go this way. So I'm just making straight lines to close in my picture frame. So now I have a lovely picture frame. Now you get to decide what you'd like to put in your picture. Um, over here, I did a little sunset with uh, an ocean scene. So if you'd like to try that, we can do that. Here's my sun that's setting. So it's just a half circle. I'm not going to show all of it. I have some clouds in front of it. And then I started the ocean down here. Some ocean waves. All I did with that, boys and girls, I did a slightly curved line, and then I curved back. Another slightly curved line, curve back, if you like the way I did that. Again, a slightly curved line forward, and then back, just for some ocean waves. A little sand right there. 
Okay. So this is pretty much our still life today, boys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed it. You've either followed me along or you've picked your own things to put on a table and draw. That's fine. Do remember when you are finished, you are the artist. So I'd love to see your signature. I'm going to put mine down at the bottom. And the date is always nice to see when you've drawn this. And you can go back years from now and check it out. Hope you had fun today, boys and girls. I miss you. Keep drawing and stay safe. Bye-bye.